Excel project. I'm going to go through this in uh, five separate videos, trying to keep them all kind of short and focused. This first one focuses basically on getting going, like how do you get into Excel and stuff like that. So here we are in D2L, so you log into D2L as usual. I'm logged in as a student, so this should look the very same here as it will to you. And what we're going to do first is we're going to go over here to resources. Hey, okay, there, go over to resources, and then where it says Microsoft Office 365 Suite. Boink, just go there. So this, well, gets you to Office 365. So I don't know if it's going to recognize you or not, but you, you're going to sign in using your star ID. So I'm going to sign in. I am. Yep, here we go. Okay, and so I need my password. Let's see, what the heck is it? Something like this. That should work. And then, oh yeah, two-factor authentication. Let's just get this done. It says my sign-in was successful. That would be good. I never stayed at sign-in. That sounds weird to me. Anyway, okay, here we are. Now, depending on your past use of this, you may or may not have recommended files to look at. Um, you may or may not have a list down here. It doesn't matter. What you're going to do is you're going to start a brand new Excel file. And the way you do that is you come down here where it says go to Excel. Click. I'm going to Excel. Okay. And now where it says blank workbook, let's make a blank workbook. Click. Click. Come on, you set up. There it is. And so now we've got a nice, here we are in Excel. Hopefully you've seen Excel before. Uh, you've played with it a little bit maybe, but I'm going to assume you don't know too much or need a refresher or whatever. Now, our project's going to have four sheets. So this is called a, a, a workbook, I think it's called, or something. The whole file is called a workbook, and it can have separate worksheets in it. And we're going to have four worksheets. So this first one, double-click, get it to highlight like that, and you want to rename it as Fits. Click this plus button, double-click that so we can rename that. And rename that, uh, oh, let's see now here. How about conf intervals? Gonna do some of those. I'm gonna click this plus, double click. Okay, what else are we gonna do? We're gonna code prob distributions. And then one more, click the plus, double click, and we'll call this one our probability experiment. That's gonna be fun for me. That's my that's the most fun for me. And then come back to fits. Okay. Um, what you're going to do after we type some stuff in here, um, is we're going to have to like be able to submit the project, right? So how do you submit it? Come up here to file and actually right away, we might as well do this. Save as, and I'm just going to rename it, which isn't going to save it anywhere. It's going to stay on Office 365, but we might as well call this something like stats week eight, something like that. Um, whatever you want to call it, I hit return. And now you can see that the file has a new name. It's not just called, you know, file 16 or whatever the heck it was called. So that's that. We can we can uh, rename it. Uh, you can save a copy. If you want to have two copies online, you can do that. If you want to work on one and then, you know, save the other one as a backup or whatever. But uh, download a copy. This is what you want to use. You would download a copy, and then this would actually put a working Excel file on your desktop or wherever it goes into your downloads, I guess. Um, that's what I need you to do. Download a copy, and then submit that to the Dropbox. I need to have a functioning Excel spreadsheet, one that I can open up. I can examine the formulas that you entered into cells. I can play with your spreadsheet and it will respond in ways that it should. You know what I mean? This is where you get your points. It's all about demonstrating that you used Excel, that you gained a, at least you know a modicum of competence using Excel to do some statistics calculations. Download a copy. Save as, download a copy. Am I making my point? What you don't want to do, and this will be tempted if you're not, you know, don't forget this, you know, write this down or something. I'm not looking for you to download a PDF. I can't play with a PDF. I can't examine the cell contents with the PDF other than what it shows. I can't examine formulas and stuff that you entered. Don't enter as a comma separated 
Is that what that is? Comma separated. What's the V? Anyway, don't download as a CSV. That's just a bunch of numbers and stuff. Don't download as a PSF. I, those are useless to me. Useless. I can't, you can't give you points for those. Maybe five points because you did something, but you didn't do what you were supposed to do. What you're supposed to do is save as, download a copy. Get it? Save as, download a copy. I hope I'm making my point. Anyway. That's what I need you to upload into the Dropbox in D12 as usual. Whew. Okay, let's close. Now let's just uh, look at some of these controls here. We're on what's called the Home tab, right? We were over here. We did the file and we did all that stuff. But the Home tab has, well, you can choose your font. You can choose your point size. You can make stuff bold. You can, under, you can put borders on the cells. You can fill the cells with color. You can change the color of the text. What can you do in here? Got italics, underlines whatever. Okay, this here is if you want to center your text, you would use this. Um, merging cells. Okay, let me show you how merging cells works. Let's say I'm going to put a title across these four columns. I could, you know, hold, I'm holding, uh, what am I doing? Click the mouse, hold, drag, let go of the mouse. Okay, I've selected those four cells. Urge. Now they're one big cell. Can you see that? And now I can type something in here like, hey, title. That's the title. And it looks like I already had the centering chosen. You might have, your text might be coming out like that, in which case you come over to here and you say, no, I want you to be, hey, 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 I want you to be centered. Oh, I'm in the wrong cell. Make sure you select the cell that you're trying to affect here. Okay, cool. And then maybe I'll make it bold and then maybe I'll fill the cell with yellow, whatever. And then you know what else I'll do? I'll underline it. See how this says I'm going to underline the bottom? Boom, I underline the bottom. See, that's pretty cool. So you can get a little bit decorative in here, which is nice. So that's the merge cells. That's what that was. Over here, you can format a cell or a range of cells to have numbers, money, uh, percentage. You might use this one, format as a percent, something like that. I don't think I use anything over here. I suppose I could take a quick look. Insert, oh, format cells. Oh, I do use this. So over here, where it says format cells, this is where you can change column width, row height, and stuff like that. Auto fit to contents, something like that. Okay, so that I use. Sure, I use that. Why not? So anyway, that's the home tab. It's mostly about decorating your text. What other tabs we got? Insert. You can insert pictures if you want. You can insert shapes if you want. We will be using this. We'll be inserting some charts. I think mostly scatter charts. But anyway, that's how we insert graphs. Share. I'm not going to share. Page layout. I do like to set the print area sometime. So if you set the print area right. No, I don't want to set it to a single cell. So you might say, look, I just want to print that part. Nothing else. You could do print area, set print area. And now when you go to print, that's the only part of the thing it's going to print. That's handy. Formulas. This isn't showing me everything I want to see. I guess I'll have to do this. Oh, no, not that. Do this. There we go. So usually when I'm using this myself, I have a nice big screen and I make this really, really wide and I can see it right here. So how, notice we got some of these things. Uh, insert financial functions, logical functions, text functions, I guess. Come over here because the other options we want, we're going to want maybe math and trig, but definitely we're going to want more functions. Because under more functions, you can do statistical functions. And you see some statistical looking things already. Things like averages, binomial distribution. We, had, we never did chi-square. Confidence intervals. We'll, we'll use confidence.t, by the way. Um, stuff like that. So anyway, we're going to look up our, our statistical functions over there. Okay, what else have we got? Uh, data. We will use data just for, uh, you can use it to sort data. You can highlight some data and then say, eh, put it in order, please. Uh, you might use view if you want to set the zoom to whatever percent. Um, oh, you know what I could do? I could set the zoom to 50%. Nope, that's that didn't do what I wanted it to do. It only set this part to 50%. I wanted it to set the whole screen to 50%. That's okay. I could do that, but let's not. I don't think I use anything else. You can draw stuff on here if you want to get artistic. Okay, well, I think that's pretty much all I need to show you. So um, 
I'm going to make four more videos, one for each sheet, basically. What are we going to do on this sheet? What are we going to do on this sheet? What are we going to do, what are we going to do on this sheet? And, um, yeah, I'll go do that. By the way, here's, here's where you sign out. You'll have your little bubble here, and you could sign out. I'm not going to sign out because I'm about to make four more of these things. But video done.